governor is polling off the charts. Even Senator Lautenberg is saying some nice things about him. But will Cory Booker take aim at the senator's seat? Time now for our weekly roundtable with Republican strategist Steve Somm and Democratic strategist Julie Roginski. Welcome back. Good to have you both here. Thanks Thank so much. You. We're seeing 72 percent approval ratings. That is off the charts. But th does, it, does it allow you at this point to say, this guy, unless something goes very, very wrong, this guy's got more, four more years? Well, I mean, listen, it's a long time between now and next November, and I think the governor knows that better than anybody. And I think that uh, New Jersey is a Democrat state. As Julie will tell you, there are 750,000 more Democrats than Republicans in New Jersey. But in the latest polls, even the majority of Democrats are talking about him being a, a strong leader and an effective yes. leader. Well, they see his leadership skills. I think that's what America saw this past year or two years with when he travels around the country and speaks all to audiences that Chris Christie's America's governor. He's a, mm -hmm. he's a leader. And, and people in all political stripes uh, recognize his leadership ability in handling the storm. And Democrats grew to love him during the storm yeah. for, for job performance, in the polls indicate, but also that, you know, that ability to work with the president and to erase party lines at least for a right. while. Right. And um, this is not to diminish anything that he did during the storm because any Democrat, including me, well, hopefully any Democrat, but I'll certainly say he did a fantastic job and, and nobody can take that away from him. But, uh, you know, we have a year to go and the fundamentals of the state economy are not that great. Well, it's the, almost like thinking about to the George Bush and, after the first Gulf exactly War. Exactly right. That's the best numbers, analogy. Right? He was in 92% yeah. or so, or 91%. Yeah. But the fundamentals aren't great. I think we're 48th or 49th in the state in job creation. Uh, Will he get a pass, though, to a certain extent? Because things might have been rough before, but now, I mean, you got a huge mountain to climb just to get back to, well, to where we were. Well, but don't forget, you know, the people that were affected by Sandy, the people down at the shore, are, are a separate group. But most people who were affected by Sandy, who lost their power, memories are short. And this mm -hmm. is not a reflection on the governor. It's a reflection on the reality of, of the political system. So, so once the lights go back on, on, people want to uh, You know, how many normal? people in Middlesex yeah. County, which the governor did very overperform for a Republican in Middlesex, for example, how many people in Somerset, Bergen, I mean, those people, mm -hmm. except for the people in parts of Bergen that really had their houses destroyed, but how many of those people are really going to remember Sandy a year mm -hmm. from now? They'll, they'll think about it, but it'll be an inconvenience. And then mm -hmm. they'll look Who'd at... Who would you like to see run against him? Uh, you know... Would you like Cory Booker to take a shot at I, this? Cory Booker's certainly more than welcome to take a shot. I Polls think. still put him down so 20 points. Today, but yeah, we'll yeah, see what so happens. Yeah. It's a long way, yeah. but, but, you know, let me tell you something else. This is Obama's economy. You know, and, and the president, like it or not, has to own the economy that he's mm -hmm. created. And Chris Christie's not responsible for the national economy. But we've had some big, big successes in New Jersey. We've brought a lot of good companies into the state. We've created a lot of jobs. Yeah, the economy is not good. But I'll tell you this. I mean, the storm, uh, in, in a way, is going to put a lot of people to work. And we're going to see a lot of people down the shore in construction trades and, 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 and electrical workers. And, and, well, we had and, the Labor oh, Commissioner on earlier in this broadcast, and, yeah. and we hear some of these. It sounds to me almost like a new well, new deal. Well, you, well, you're going to see $30, $40 billion pumped into the economy of the state. People are going to be working. So, you know, a year from I now. I thought we were supposed to be shrinking government. <laughs> a year from now, we could have a, a very robust economy in New Jersey. So we, well, Look, we could, but Barack Obama is the president of all 50 states. He's not responsible for New Jersey being 48th <laughs> out of 50. Barack Obama is not responsible for property taxes that continue to go up despite the fact that not this is an issue so. that addressed. Not much, though. So. You may say not much for you, Steve, but for people no. that are not making a good living, it's, it's a lot. So, you know, if you, and, and this is not to diminish what the governor's done on Sandy. And I, again, I will say he did a fantastic job. But if you're voting next November, Sandy, for many people, will have receded by then. And you're looking at, issues will And you're looking at the fundamentals, and you're saying, I still can't get a job, and my property taxes are still sure high, that, and, I'm you know, we'll sure see. I'm not sure that's the case. I, 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 think we'll that see. People, I think that people in this state and around the country are going to watch Chris Christie and see how he handles this storm and brings our state back. And he's going to have somebody to compare himself well, to. Well, that's lot, Governor but he, but he's, made, he, he's made, at least in the, in the media side of the Republican Party, some enemies, it appears. <laughs> are you comfortable with the notion that he's kind of... Uh, He's become fodder for some talk radio hosts. Please, let me tell you something. Chris Christie is the greatest political star in either political party in the United States of America. Anywhere he goes, he gets standing ovations, whether it's in California, Washington State, New Jersey, Florida. This man has an amazing leadership style, which the people in this country have recognized. I don't pay any attention to those people on talk radio at all. Uh, you know, you're right, except yeah. for the fact that if Chris Christie wants to run for something higher down the road, He's going to have gonna to need them. He's going to need them. And, I, sure I, and I spend some time, as you know, with, with, with conservative uh, 
pundits, for lack of a better word. And, we, we hear that, yes. And some of them are upset with him. I mean, tremendously yeah. so. And do those, they, they think he cost Romney election? They, they do, which I, which I have consistently said is the stupidest thing I've ever they're heard, long. because yeah. they're imbuing him with much more power than he has. They're also imbuing Romney with a mm. lot more but, chances that he had yeah. before Sandy. But I mean, they're absolutely wrong. But unfortunately for any Republican running, not just Chris Christie, He's going to have to cater to those people. Only about 20 seconds. Chris Christie will be his Chris Christie Republican. He will define himself that way in the United States, and people will recognize it and will support it. Pull the we party have, back to the center the way Clinton pulled the Democrats to, to the center? He will define his own brand of Republicanism based upon how he governs this state. We heard that happen with the mayor of America, Rudy Giuliani, and he never got the Republican well, nomination. So we'll see. It's, it's different. We'll see. He's we'll one see. of those pundits you were talking about, <laughs> yeah, wasn't he? Oh, right. He's, he, he's, he's <laughs> not as wacko as the rest of you know, some of them. <laughs> we got to leave it there. Thank you for coming on. Thank, thank you. you.